Lake Tahoe. Just saying the name conjures up images of majesty and grandeur. With more than 480 inches of snowfall each year, this is a place where millions come to play on the winter slopes and backcountry trails. South Lake Tahoe is located right on the neck of the California-Nevada border. It's about an hour from the Reno-Tahoe Airport, only two hours by car from Sacramento, and a three and a half hour drive from San Francisco. Meet Sean, Ashley, and Kelly. They've traveled here from San Francisco to South Lake Tahoe, California, for a chill out from their stressful careers in the Bay Area. We'd been in the car for a while, so we were, you know, eagerly anticipating trying to get to our destination. Wow. Yeah, this is exactly where we're staying. Oh my God. Take a left and we're pulling up and there's this house that comes out of nowhere, which is just spectacular. And we just burst out of that car. Wow, look at this place. Oh it's my amazing. God. Wow, that is a huge moose. That says everything. Look at this. Fireplace, wow. fireplace, a big TV. Goodness. You open that porch door and you go out in the balcony and oh, you're just wow. inundated by Tahoe. We made it, all right. You know, we had arrived and it was a really nice sense of let the adventures begin. Hi, we're here. Hi. Hi, you guys. Hi, you guys. Brooke and Brittany are feature reporters for Channel 2 News in Salt Lake City, Utah. They've been sent here to cover the San Francisco Friends vacation. I wasn't too sure about two reporters. I didn't know if they were going to be asking us a lot of questions along the way. We were asked by our boss to come and do a story on togethering. It's a new trend. We were kind of like, well, we don't know who these people are, but it should be fun. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, we all know what most people really want to do in South Lake Tahoe. And one of the epicenters of snowboarding here is Sierra at Tahoe Resort. Their instructors will help you get down a slope, even if you've never been on a board before. All right, why do you guys think it's so important for you to maintain bent knees like this? Jim and Ryan set us up on the snowboards, and they did. we did a little bit of kind of just feeling out the boards initially, kind of getting your balance. They made us try to jump, I think. Everyone else seemed to pick up a 180 like that, and I was kind of hopping along a little bit. All right, Ashley, way to go! Yeah! <laughs> Even though Kelly and Sean are great on the snow, they still got to learn a few new things mm -hmm. about snowboarding and how to become better. They made me feel really comfortable, really secure, and just gave really good feedback and coaching so that I could improve. This is Hope Valley within the Humboldt Toyabe National Forest. And there's only one commercially licensed snowmobile company that's permitted to operate here, Lake Tahoe Adventures. The snow is deep up here, even in March, so this is a chance for many visitors to try something that might be new to them, snowshoeing. Typically people think of snowshoeing, if they haven't done it before, that they're going to be walking on a tennis racket or something. And instead, the modern snowshoes are quite different looking. And then it's basically just walking. The nice thing about going to these places while you're snowshoeing is that you're going places where no one's been recently. You saw absolute virgin snow. No one had touched it. And there's something really adventuresome about that. Wow, that looks amazing. One of the best hangouts right in the center of town at Heavenly Village is Base Camp Pizza. A super fun restaurant. They had all these different kinds of pizza and great drinks and just a really lively, fun, very family-friendly atmosphere. Limes. Ooh. That was amazing pizza. I've never had some of the things on those pizza. I don't know what's on it, but it's delicious. I would like to go back to Base Camp Pizza for dinner for the rest of my life. It was so, so yummy. Good. Heavenly Mountain Resort covers 4,800 acres and tops off at an altitude of 10,000 feet, the highest resort elevation in Lake Tahoe. And even people who don't ski take the trip up the mountain to Tamarack Lodge not only for the incredible views, but for a legendary apres ski party, appropriately called Unbuckle. Unbuckle out of your snowboard, unbuckle out of your skis, maybe loosen those boots up a little bit, and you can go right on the dance floor. Well, I think both Brooke and I were trying to dance in uh, ski boots, which is no easy feat. <laughs> I think my favorite part of the trip was, truthfully, the twins, Brooke and Brittany. 
Yeah, you know, at the beginning of this trip, I wasn't too sure about two reporters. I didn't know if they were going to be asking us a lot of questions along the way. Walking into the situation, we were nervous because we're barging in on this vacation, but by the end of the trip, we're like, oh, they're great. You know, we're already hoping that they'll come out and visit us in San Francisco. Maybe we'll plan our next ski trip out to Utah. You'd think that between snowboarding, snowmobiling, snowshoeing, ice skating, partying, and pizza? These guys would be talking about all of the activities they were able to stuff into one week in South Lake Tahoe. But what they seem to be remembering most is just being together again. And on top of that, meeting new and possibly lifelong friends. What has surprised everyone is that this turned out to be much more than a news assignment. But that's the sort of thing that happens when people are getting away together.